Hello everyone, my name is Katja and I am a furniture artist. I create weekly tutorials on how to paint furniture. This week we're going crazy with a bunch of new Dixie Bell products that were just launched. I'm using a name table I got really cheap and these are my favorite pieces to go crazy on. This one is in rough shape, but that's okay. We're going to make her beautiful in the end, hopefully. Finger crossed. That's the goal. <laughs> This end table is in bad shape, so we had to get out the sander. I love my surf prep sander now that I can finally sand inside. We're not trying to get a perfect job done here, we're trying to rough up the surface. This is going to make sure we get a good bond with our boss primer. Once that is done, we can clean the piece with white lightning. This piece was just nasty and smelled really bad. I wish you can smell through the screen, but you can't. It smelled really bad. And you can go ahead and remove any hardware now as well. Now, time for some primer. The reason I'm adding Boss Primer is because this piece was stinky. Like, so stinky, like really bad. Ugh. It came with a set, but otherwise I wouldn't bat it if I knew how bad it smelled. I'm using Boss to block that smell inside and get rid of it. Also, I switched to a roller. I like the smoother finish a roller gives me with my primer. I used two coats of primer for this. Make sure to let the first one fully dry before you apply a second one. Once that was done and we blocked that stinky smell, and now I can enjoy and paint this piece. I'm using Plum Crazy for my base color and Anchor Black. Plum Crazy is just a yummy color on its own. Like, it's so delicious. You wanna eat it like a plum. <laughs> This bottom storage area is going to be black, but I did a coat of Plum Crazy just to see how it will look. Sometimes you just have to check things, you know, to make sure you don't want them or you want them, you know? <laughs> I painted the inside of the drawer in anchor. and this bottom storage part as well. Mm -hmm. 
I let that dry and added a second coat of Plum Crazy and Anchor Black before moving to the next part. Next up, we're using a new Dixie Belle transfer I just got. I'm excited. I'm using the Floral Romance transfer. It's very easy to use. You simply stick it on where you want it. Then you transfer the image over with a stick that comes in the box. Lift it up slowly to make sure everything is transferring over. Once it's all on there, you are done. I was just having fun with this and did whatever I wanted to do. I was just like playing around. And when you're playing, you're having fun. So I was having fun. I did mess up by trying to cut the back of the transfer, but I will show you how I fixed that. I also placed it on the sides and that was kind of challenging because why make life easy when it can be complicated, right? <laughs> now let me show you how I fixed my mistakes and blended the transfer in so it looks natural, no hard transitions. I'm going to dry brush to blend it in better. At first I tried doing this with silk paint but this was not what I wanted. For this effect, you need a chalk style paint, so I switched to Dixie Belle regular formula and used caviar. Remember to unload that brush when dry brushing. This technique is sure to blend that transfer in much nicer. And I used the same caviar black to dry brush the piece as well. You want to use a really dry brush and a light hand for this. Dry brushing black on Plum Crazy added so much character to this piece, in my opinion. I also dry brushed a little Plum Crazy into the black. and it was looking good. Now for some details and protection. Didn't I tell you 
in the beginning that I love to go crazy on these little end tables? I did tell you, right? To protect, I'm going with the Dixie Belle Clear Wax. On darker colors, you want to grab a black lint-free cloth to wipe off the extra wax. So black lint-free cloth when working with dark colors. That trick took me years to figure out. And now for some gold, because I miss my gold. I'm going to gild the details with a small detail brush. I go over it a few times to get the lines perfect. I like to take my time with gold. I actually like to take my time with all detail work. No rush there. I added gilding wax to the hardware as well. And for the final touch, why not add some black gilding wax with a stencil? I'm using one of Dixie Belle's new large stencils called Royal Damas and the sponge brush with black gilding wax. I like that old faded look, so I'm not trying to be perfect here. I'm tapping pretty much anywhere and not too worried about it. I did that to the other side and added my hardware back on. And that was it, it was done. My beautiful French provincial plum crazy table with the gorgeous transfers. I really love how this table came out. It's so yummy all together, from the plum crazy color to a beautiful transfer to a beautiful stencil on the sides. I mean, it's just delicious. Can a table be delicious? Probably not. <laughs> well, it can. It is delicious. <laughs>